Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Cliff with Pink Flamingo Power Watch. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today, we're gonna be working in Lutz, Florida. We're gonna be doing a final fence cleaning. Pretty dirty. Uh, the rest of the property needs to be clean, but the customer just wants the fence done right now. The driveway needs to be done. The house needs to be washed. But we'll probably come back another day and do that. So I'm working with the one still. The rig is still down. Should have it back pretty soon. You know, not sweating it. Everything's gonna be all right. You see my face? I'm smiling. I'm not sad. So positive mind, positive uh, vibes. Everything's gonna be all right. So I'm gonna show you guys what the fence look like. If you haven't yet, subscribe, like, share the video, hit the bell so you know I put up a new video. All right, let's go. All right, this is the vinyl fence here. It's pretty dirty. You guys can see it's pretty green. We're going on um, downstream the fence, but we just made a 50-50 mix of SH and water in the bucket, just in case um, if we got any stubborn stains that didn't come off, but you guys can see this fence is pretty bad all over. This whole property needs to be rehabbed. You guys can see the pool deck is dirty here. You can see algae on the house. Roof needs to be done, roof is dark as well. But the fence is what we're here for. And that's all they want done, so. This is the other side over here. Pretty green. A lot of green. Look at that, you can even do it with your hand. <laughs> hey, look, look the one. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That's from the morning dew on there comes off. So you know you already know when they put the SH on there it's gonna come off pretty easy. Like I said, we're gonna uh, downstream today. We're gonna be using the uh, the ones for GPM with our SH bucket. I'm gonna turn that water on. So this is a downstream injector. It's hooked up right here. And then we got our SH in, in the bucket. This is straight SH in here. We only need to dilute it when you're downstreaming. It, it does that when it goes through the line. Uh, so we're gonna crank up and get going. Y'all stay tuned. All right, we're gonna go ahead and downstream the SH on here, like I said. Put a good lay on here. All this algae off easy. Today we got three jobs in the schedule. Uh, we're gonna be doing this job here. Next we got a house wash, driveway cleaning, pool cage, pool deck cleaning, all at the same property. Uh, they do got pavers in the back. Uh, we're gonna clean them today and then go back another day and um, sand and seal them. Uh, the third job, we have a pool deck and we're also gonna be doing the front of the house as well. Really stacked day to day. I've been so busy lately. Um, Non-stop for the last two months straight.
we're finishing up applying the SH. I think he just has to hit the back side of this fence once he closes the, the gate. And then uh, we're gonna go back to the top and see how it looks. I need to go ahead and uh, give it some dwell time. It's a little cooler this morning, so the SH may take a little while to activate, but everything's gonna come off. You know, just give it some time. We're starting our rinse from the where we started earlier. We still got to go on the other side of that fence. That fence is outside. We'll do that when we wrap around and we'll put the stuff uh, back in the truck. But everything else has uh, starting to go away. Do our little test. Let's see. <laughs> Just smells off like butter. y'all we all wrapped up here we're gonna show you guys the job what it looks like it came out pretty good so this is the inside portion right here nice and clean and white hit those little few spots that we had left over and everything came out pretty good this is the other side here Right here was pretty bad. This whole thing is brightened up now. Okay, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and pack it up and uh, we're gonna go do this nice house wash, driveway, pool deck, pool cage, pay every prep for sealing. We'll see y'all when we get there. All right, we're at the second stop for the day right now in uh, New Tampa. We're here for a house wash, driveway. We got pool, de pool deck, pool cage here, uh, which we're gonna seal soon. So let me show, show you guys what it looks like. So this is the driveway here. It's dirty. You can see the curbs are dirty as well. Got a little bit of tree coverage, so it's hard to see how bad it is, but we're gonna clean this here. We got uh, the house, which this area right here is not too bad, but the soffits are really bad and the fascia is pretty bad. Uh, first, the customer was gonna ask me just to do the fascia and um, the soffits, but when I came in and looked at the house, uh, I seen some other areas that need to be washed. So I told him, you know, for like maybe 
a hundred, a hundred twenty-five dollars, you can have the whole thing washed rather than just washing <laughs> just the fascia and the soffit. So you guys can see we got some black all on there. You can see it across the fascia over here. Like I said, we're gonna be doing the pool cage here. Pool cage is pretty dirty. Look at that. Customer has been living here for a few years. He said he doesn't know last time it was done. So, uh, you know, we're gonna make it look bright again. Look at this. Thing is caked up. And back here, it's pretty dark. I'll show you guys the back. See how back, how the back looks. A lot of algae underneath the windows. Yeah, the windows got algae growing on them. So, same thing with the fascia here, all the way down the soffits. So, a whole house wash was needed. I gave him the quote and he accepted. Like I said, we also gonna be doing the pool deck. I hope it's not locked. Well, this side is locked. Right, we're lucky. All right, so we're doing the pool deck here. Pretty dirty. Is that a plant or is that a something coming out the gutters, man? You kidding me? <laughs> Yo, that came out the gutters. All right, so I just got word from the customer's wife that we're not gonna clean the deck because they, they didn't get to move the stuff. So therefore, we're just gonna clean the cage. Uh, next time we come, we'll just go ahead and uh, clean the pavers and also seal the pavers. But everything that you see here, gotta go, gotta go. With that, get that cleaned up. Finish our walk around. See some discoloration on the paint. You can see some discoloration. We get that on camera always before you start. Make sure all the windows are closed. So you're not washing the inside of the house. <laughs> that will not be fun. Front of the house is not too bad at all. It's just the fascia up there is dirty. So we're gonna downstream this. Uh, we do have the 50-50 mix in the bucket. If we got any tough stains that we need to get going. Uh, the software system on the truck is acting up with an air leak. So if we got to bring like a, you know, maybe like two gallons in that bucket up there to spray the back section, that's what we'll do. Get the job done. All right, let's get to work. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and start washing the house. We'll start washing from right here, this portion of the wall. We'll go ahead and uh, hit everything going this way. Hit the outside of the cage. We'll stop on the other side of the cage. The reason being, we don't want the SH to dry on the house. We don't want to soap all the way around and come back all the way around. By then, it's definitely gonna dry up. So therefore, we're gonna take our time, split the house in half. So we're gonna go this way up to the cage. We may even go inside the cage and hit inside of the cage, come out, rinse everything, and then do the other half of the house, finish up with the driveway. Always be mindful with the, you know, the dwell time with the SH. You definitely don't want it to sit on there for no 20 minutes, especially on a hot day. Today's not too bad, but um, you still don't want that. Uh, we don't have any surfactant today in our SH. That's another reason you don't want it to dry, especially on glass. It, it will spot the glass, the air. Believe it or not, the surfactant it helps the glass not to streak or leave spots uh, from the SH applied to it. So, therefore, uh, we got to be mindful of our dwell, uh, dwell time.
inside now. The one has already sprayed these areas. You can see how it's coming out pretty clean so far. Like I showed you guys, all that dirt that was right here starting to break away. See it? This comes off like butter. Yeah, you see it? Yeah. I'll come off. Good old downstream mix. You don't need too much. Like my boy Freddie Pressure would say, nothing big or heavy. <laughs> Back of the house now. A lot of algae growing right here. A little shaded spot. All right, we're back at the top where we started soaping. You can see this wall is pretty clean now. Gonna have probably had to put the. 0015 wash jet tip on to get that uh, fascia cleaned up because uh, it looks like some very bad algae has been there for a while. Right now we're just using the fan tip and you know, soft wash everything off. nice and rinsed off we don't want no spots all right guys this is the back section I'm on top this is a little small roof um, 4 GPM is not gonna come, it's not gonna reach all the way across over here. Uh, especially with the downstream mix, it's not strong enough to get that black stuff that was up here. So brought like two gallons up here in this bucket and um, sprayed it on here. The one is gonna just hand me the gun. Now I just rinse this back wall for him and then he can finish up with the cage. Beautiful day out here. Nice little pond for him. Great view. I just got done rinsing this area here. Fish is clean, the wall is clean. This algae been on there for a very long time, so that very bottom is all ate up already from years of neglect. Pressure washing doesn't take away your neglect. <laughs> years of neglect. Uh, I know sometimes people watch these videos, they think that everything's gonna turn out perfect and brand new. I mean, a lot of time it does, but a lot of time it doesn't. You know, some stuff just gotta be restored. It is what it is, guys. But overall, the wall is clean. I'm gonna jump down, help the one do the cage, finish up the rest of the job. Y'all stay tuned. All right, we're rinsing the outside of the cage. Everything else has been rinsed off already. Just gotta go in here and rinse the walls inside the cage. Finish up those last two walls in the driveway. All being powered by the 4 GPM. <laughs> getting it done, man, getting it done. Give the inside a good rinse now. You know it's crazy we don't have any soap in the SH. You can see you see some suds. And the screens.
uh, quick recap so far guys we got the cage entirely done looking good looking good all the algae is gone nice white cage that's what I'm talking about now we're gonna keep on working heading to the front to get uh you know everything else done the one is starting to apply the SH on the wall right now as we speak everything everything we just soak down once we're done we just jump on the driveway you can see the suds coming off the wall we we're trying to get back to the side very quickly because of the sun on the wall drying the sh you know you don't want that so get back here quickly the wall time was about give or take five minutes which was uh you know for this wall it's not a lot of algae on it it's perfect the uh, soffits in the face here, you know, you can let it sit for a little longer. Those are very tough. We're starting on the driveway now. The one has already done about half of it. He's knocking out the sidewalks. Home run stretch, almost there. All right, we all wrapped up with the project took us about three hours on the dot so let's check it out so we got the concrete clean to the property line did the curbs house came out really good got the fascias all the way around pretty good she is bright This is the side right here. This side was horrible. You see now, clean. I already showed you guys the pool area. Let me check out this wall. This wall right here, the algae sat on it for so long that it left a mark on the wall, but there's nothing we can do about that. You know, you can't neglect your stuff and expect it to look brand new. But you guys can see how everything looks good here, man. Can't beat that. Cage already showed you. Nice and bright. Outside of the cage. All that stuff right there was pretty bad. All the beams and stuff.
And then uh, this last side right here, it's pretty bad. And you guys can see, you can't beat that with a stick. All right, so it's about 1.30 right now. Uh, we're gonna grab a quick lunch and we got one more job for the day. So we see y'all when we get there. All right, y'all, we at the final job for the day. Uh, right now we're in loops. We're gonna be doing uh, just a sidewalk cleaning. It's a corner lot sidewalk. They got, uh, they got a letter from the HOA that they need to clean the sidewalks. So that's all we're doing. We're not doing the curves, we're not doing the driveway. So let me show you guys what it looks like. So the one has started uh, downstreaming the pre-treatment. Pretty long sidewalk. This is the customer's gate over here. We set up right, we set up right at the corner. We got 200 feet of hose, so it should be plenty to get all of it done. You can see here we got a lot of algae. The sidewalk hasn't been clean in a while. We'll do these too. But we're not doing the curbs. That was the customer's request. See here we got some algae spots. We'll probably have to post street this to make it bright. So we can make it match the driveway as close as possible. You guys can see the driveway is pretty white. And then uh, the property line stops pretty much right here where the drain is to this block right here. So this is where we'll stop. Pretty straightforward. Get this thing cleaned up and wrap up the day. Three, almost 3.30 right now. Making good time. Had a good lunch at Panera Bread too. So the one just got done doing the long side that's facing outside of the street. Um, it needs to be post treated though. Cause look, so you got lines. This was pretty dirty. You can see some swirl marks right here. It's all dirty right here still. So we're gonna put some 6% uh, mix on here. I already have it mixed in a bucket sprayer. So um, it can be really quick. You could do this uh, with a pump up sprayer, your soft wash system, whatever you got. So 
this right here makes quick work of spraying um post treatment so i'm gonna put a light layer on here to brighten up this concrete and get the HOA of these people backs. <laughs> she said, I got a very nasty letter from the HOA. I mean, how nasty could it be for a sidewalk? But I don't know. I never live in the HOA community, so I don't I know they, they kind of picky. But I don't know how bad it can get. All right, let's do a quick recap here. We all wrapped up. Everything is put away except for the pressure washer treated so all the lines are out of here looking pretty good pretty good man you see it good work should be able to catch a Maritech get some SH for tomorrow yes sir all wrapped up all right y'all hope y'all had a good time with me today working with the one make sure you give me a thumbs up like the video share it um hit the bell so you know i put up on the video and any questions you got just ask them i got y'all y'all stay tuned i'm gonna see you on the next one peace